To design my Tumblr wraps, I use Canva. There are free and paid versions of this website. To do the project like I'm doing today, you don't need to pay for it. You can use the free version of Canva. From the home page, I'm going to start in the right hand corner here at the top and click on custom size. This will allow us to customize the size of the Tumblr wrap. You want to make sure that this matches up with the size of Tumblr you're using. First thing I'm going to do is change it from PX to inches. And then for the width, the Tumblr I'm using is 9.313 and the height is 8.21. You want to make sure that this remains unlocked so that it's not uh, a locked aspect ratio and click create new design. From here, it looks similar to Design Space. You can see here on the left-hand side, the Add Elements button for adding images, adding text, uploading your own images or drawing. I'm going to use a pre-made template to make this a little bit easier. So we can start by clicking on the Upload button here on the left-hand side. You can find this template on my website for free to download. This one is for the tumblers that are 9.313 inches wide and 8.21 inches deep. So once it's drug up into the corner, you can resize it so that it is the same size as our screen. You want to make sure that it perfectly fits in these dimensions. And we can delete this later. This is just a visual to help you get an idea of where it's all going to sit on your mug. So you can browse through some of the elements that are already here on Canva. They have a bunch of different images. If you have your own that you'd like to upload, when you click on upload, you can then click upload files here again to browse through your files and find whichever one you're looking for. I've already uploaded a couple of images here on the left hand side panel to use today. So if I wanted to have an image on both sides of my mug, we'd be looking to size this down and line it up with the left and right side pieces so that it fits one on each side. I just use the control C to copy, control V to paste shortcut. And here you'll have it on either side opposing of the mug. If you're looking to just make one larger center image, which is what I'm trying to do today, you can increase the size of your image and center it here in the program so that it is centered. You can see that little purple line appear. That's just showing that it's centered. Now I do want to add a couple of other elements onto this, like some bigger watermelons. So just by clicking, you can bring them in and rotate it with these little arrows. I don't want that one on that side. Let's try to put it over here and make it just a little smaller. I'm essentially going to do the same thing. You can flip the pieces up here at the top with the flip horizontal and flip vertical button if you're looking to add a little bit more dimension to your image. If you're looking to edit any one of these images, you can always come up and still access the layers panel by clicking the position button. From here, you can change the transparency of the layers and delete them. I like to add a couple more that are hidden in here or a little bit more transparent. So we can come back over to the upload button and add a couple more pieces of watermelon in here. And I find it just helps make the mug look a little bit less blank and empty. Now these ones, I don't want them to be as visible just so it gives more of a depth to the cup. So I'm going to come up here to the transparency button. It kind of looks like a checkered flag and decrease the transparency to around 50. If you click on this position button, you can come back into the layers panel and delete anything you don't need like this guide. Since this is a sublimated image, we are going to have to flip or mirror the image. Anything that is a text file or you really want to appear the way you're seeing it on the screen, you have to flip. So for my watermelon slices, I don't really care too much if they're pointed to the right or to the left. It's all going to look the same. 
But what I do care about definitely is text and any images I want to appear the exact same. So with one layer selected, you'll see here the image has the selection box around it. It's also selected in the layers panel down here. You can come right up to the top and click on flip. And we want to flip this horizontally so that it appears the right way when it's put onto the mug. Now that I'm happy with the final image, I can click on share up here at the top. Once you click on download, there are a few different file types to choose from. We're going to select PDF print, which is best for printing. Once it's opened, it's as easy as clicking the print button up here in the top right hand corner or the keyboard shortcut control P to print. Now that the image has been downloaded to our computer, we can head over to the download section and click on the design to open and print. In the top right hand corner, you'll find the little print icon. If ever you can't find the print icon, you can just click Control and P at the same time on your keyboard to open the print dialog box. Once the printer dialog box is open, you can scroll all the way down here and click on Print using System Dialog. This will just give you additional print settings to change the quality. We want the orientation to remain portrait, color mode to be on. By clicking more settings, you can tend to get more advanced options. We're looking for this paper quality button. The paper source here is going to automatically select the main tray. For the type of paper, we shall put semi-gloss photo paper. It's more matte, let's put matte. Here advanced, you'll have even more options of changing the quality. So we're gonna change it from normal to high. Once all of these changes have been made, we can click print and send it over to the printer.